Hi guys. Last time I filmed a Taco Bell mukbang or mukbang, it was like a year and a half ago. So I'm just gonna do it again. And this time I'm gonna tell you guys a really fun story. Well, not fun for me. In fact, traumatizing for me, but fun for you to listen. So, and we're gonna try the new Taco Bell items on the menu, which are the buffalo chicken nacho fries and the buffalo chicken nacho fries burrito. I'm wondering if I should get like a nacho fry box or something, but I know that that's like a ridiculous amount of food for me. So I'll get nacho fries too. Just a bunch of fries because everything has fries in it this, this time. I accidentally showed my credit card last time, so I'm gonna try to do that. I love you, nine dollars in credit. Any sauce? Thank you. Hot sauce, please. Hot sauce? Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. You too. I literally haven't had nacho fries in so long. I have to just try one. Oh yeah, hot. The only thing I don't like about the nacho fries is the cheese. It's like so fake, but that's also what's kind of great about it, you know? This cheese is like, ew, I just glaked. Did you see that? I hope you didn't. If you did, surprise. This cheese sauce, like every single bite you take, it gets better, and the first bite is the worst bite. I don't know why. One of those like weird artificial flavors that grows on you. Just what you want in a food product. Oh, that looks interesting. I'm just not realizing that there's cilantro on top. I hate cilantro. Retweet if you agree. Don't blame me that I hate cilantro if you love cilantro. Like, it wasn't my choice. It's literally in my DNA. They did not give enough hot sauce. Four. And a mild. Mild is gross. I sound like such a brat right now. And I am. Cheers. I hate watching me eat on camera. So when I'm editing, I'm probably gonna cut out like me eating. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Mmm. I've missed nacho fries. I would have gotten a nacho fries box, but I have to try these items. Are you guys seeing this cheese? Mmm. Oh my god. That's really good. The cilantro, though, I know I'm gonna hate that. Let's get the burrito in this. No, that was so cheesy. Just got all over my car, and there's hair on it. Ew, there's multiple hairs on it. Should I just throw this out? Probably, but I want to eat it. Is that gross? You guys judge me. I don't mind if you do. I'm judging me too. I really did not need more nacho fries. I can tell you that right now. I want to try this burrito, and then we'll get into it. Some hot sauce. Mm, it's good. It's not my favorite thing, though. I love the chipotle sauce they have at Taco Bell. It is good, though. I need to get into the story. I have my water. So let me give you a little bit of backstory on me if you guys don't know me very well or you're new here. When I was in high school, which is a long time ago now, I'm old, I did not do anything bad. I was literally a goody two shoes, to the T, perfect little angel, never did anything. Didn't party, didn't have a boyfriend, didn't talk to boys. I was a late bloomer. When I went to college, I went to Towson University, which is in Maryland if you don't know, and Towson is more of a bar school. So there's party schools where they have a lot of house parties, and there's bar schools where people just go uptown or go out. When I went into Towson, I was like 18. That's not 21. And like I said, I did nothing bad ever. Um, I never even went to parties or anything. But in my senior year summer, I started to like get into it a little bit, you know? Pause. Well, uh, Taylor told this story. I have this other crazy story that I have to tell you guys real quick. It went something like you took your mouse for your thumb on your phone and you clicked that like little red button when I said subscribe and then like your life got like crazy better. That's like a story <laughs> I hear about all the time. So you should just try it out. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I knew I wanted to be social and participate with the school life. So I decided to go in on an order of fake IDs with these other girls I knew that were going to Towson. I need to say this. I am not condoning underage drinking or buying a fake ID or anything like that. Don't do it. Just wait till you're 21. Trust me, you'll have your whole life after that to drink and go out and do whatever. But anyway, I was in college, so I was just like, I want to experience some sort of social life because I really lacked one in high school. This stuff really grows on you. It was good at first, but now it's even better. So I ordered a fake ID. My picture was trash. This is super illegal, um, and it was from South Carolina. When you get a fake ID, you choose a state 
that the bouncers aren't going to see very often so they won't be able to tell if it's fake but at the same time literally nobody goes to Towson that lives in South Carolina no one so it's kind of suspicious to begin with but anyway I just chose that I didn't go into Towson thinking I want to use this fake ID all the time I just wanted to have it in case my friends that I made wanted to go out and I wanted to be able to participate so I was like I'll just get one whatever what's the worst that could happen the worst did happen by the way I think a few months went by when I first got to school I didn't really go out ever to the bars and the thing is at Towson there was three main bars my freshman year that people went to there was green turtle which you could not get in with a fake ID then there was rec room which you could maybe possibly get in with the fake ID. Rec room was also connected to Torrent. That one was like sometimes. And then there was B Lounge. This was the freshman bar, okay? If you have a fake ID, you go to B Lounge because it's the easiest to get into. And like everyone there is underage. <laughs> my first time going out, I was with my friend Kayla and she was like a veteran. She was not a goody two shoes and she knew what she was doing. So I went with her. Um, I used my stupid South Carolina fake ID. We went early so there was no line, no problems, got in. I had so much fun. Like, I never did much again, as I said a million times in this video. So it was so exciting and fun and I just danced with my girls the whole time. We all just stood in a circle and danced and it was so fun. So I got used to going to Bee Lounge and I got pretty comfortable. I never had any problems. Maybe one time I'd been denied and then I just tried again 10 minutes later and they let me in. So I got pretty comfortable. Hockey, okay, me Caitlin and Courtney were all best friends. Caitlin was my roommate Courtney wanted to come up to Towson and me and Caitlin really wanted to show her the bar life that whole entire scene Courtney went to a college where nobody went to the bars so she didn't have a fake ID So we used someone else's fake ID. We borrowed it So we head uptown and at first we go to Torrent which is the mid-tier level bar harder to get into than B lounge we just figured we'd try it we were with my friend Sam Sam had convinced us to just try it and go with her so we did and the bouncers pretty much were like he let in Caitlin then he says to me he's like no nah, you have to pay 10 for you and your friend we're not letting you in so then I was like okay so then I pull out my wallet and he saw a $20 bill and he said 20 for her too just because he saw my money so I was like, whatever. So I paid $20. We all get in. Everything is great. We are having a fun time. I had never really been into Torrent, I don't think. These three guys were like trying to like follow us around. I didn't want anything to do with it. None of us really did. But the thing is they came over and bought us drinks like before we could even could say anything. So we were just like, okay, we need to like escape. We need to get out of here. So I tell Caitlin and Courtney, I'm like, let's show Courtney B Lounge. That is our home. That is where we love. We love B Lounge. Ugh. If you know B Lounge, if you went to Towson, you know B Lounge is not it. But anyway, we were freshmen. So we all leave Torrent where we were safe and not in trouble. We go all the way to B Lounge and I look at my phone and I see that it is 1.20 a.m. The bars close at 1.30, okay? Just to give you some understanding on how it works. You don't ever try to go to a bar if you're underage if it's past 1 a.m. that's like stupid there was no line at B lounge I show the bouncer my ID first all confident not worried about a thing and he says no and I was like hmm. so then I grabbed my ID Caitlin and Courtney didn't even show theirs and we start walking away and then we hear from across the street hey hey there was a cop across the street in an undercover cop car that witnessed us just get denied from this bar. It comes up to us, let me tell you guys, I'd had an internal plan for if a cop ever came up to me. I would just say, I don't have a fake ID. I used my student ID or whatever. I would just say, I don't have a fake ID because if I don't have a fake ID, I didn't do anything wrong. This guy says, give me your fake ID. And I said, I don't have a fake ID. And he was like, I know you have it, just give it to me. Courtney gave her ID right away because she listens to authority and I don't. <laughs> so now it looks even worse on my part because my friend has one and I don't. And I said I used my student ID. He literally is arguing with me and I'm arguing with this cop. Literally lying to a cop. I'm not proud of this. This is not my normal behavior. Saying I don't have an ID and I wasn't gonna give that up. I was literally going to take that to my grave. And then he waves over at the bouncer and he said, did she have a fake ID? And he says, yes. He just rats me out like that. So then I was just like, 
I really don't have one like and I gave him my real ID and I gave him my Towson ID and he was like good I'm keeping it he's like if you don't give me your fake ID right now I'm gonna literally take you to jail and I was like I don't have a fake ID I still stayed strong I did not give him my ID wasn't going to and he already had Caitlyn and Courtney's which was even worse he walks over to the bouncer a second time and talks to the bouncer and the bouncer again threw me under the bus when this is the same bouncer that would always let me in still hurt over that like why I'm pretty sure those bouncers have an agreement with the cops like give us a few underage people every week we'll meet our quotas and you won't get in trouble okay I've been waving around this burrito for like 30 minutes I feel like you can hear the bouncer he's talking to the bouncer the bouncer says yeah she has one from Delaware which wasn't even right I did not have an ID from Delaware, it was South Carolina. So at this point I was like, okay, the jig's up. He's literally talked to the bouncer twice now. I have to just give him my ID. So I gave him my ID. He was actually like yelling at me, threatening to take me to jail. What is wrong with me? If anyone from my high school watches this video, they're gonna be like, sis, what? Why? I, you would never act like that in the past, but yeah, I don't know. But something came over me. I was holding strong in my plan, okay? <laughs> but I failed. And it made it way worse for me, and I'll explain how. So then he takes us over to the car, and I'm just giving him so much attitude because I'm so mad that I got caught. Not mad that I did the thing, just mad that I got caught. And Courtney is being so nice and crying and like upset and cooperative. Me and Caitlin, we were mad. Especially because we knew people that would go out every single night and they never got sighted. And we go out like a few times and we get sighted. We were so mad. Me and Caitlin both get called to like the guidance counselor at our college. For some reason, this cop sent it to our school too, so that we would get in trouble from our school. Me and Caitlin were both on disciplinary probation for six months, which means we could not get in trouble again, or we would get like kicked out or something. I really don't know. A hundred and fifty dollar fine. We had to write a letter to our school explaining what we did wrong and whatnot, and we had to do twenty four hours of community service. We got a much worse sentence than anyone else that we knew because the cop wrote on both of our reports that we were extremely uncooperative. The worst thing you can do when you are actually in the wrong in the face of a cop is argue with them and lie to them, which is what I did. Not my proudest moment. We did everything wrong. So then we even had to like go to the court, request community service, get assigned somewhere. Me and Caitlin both got assigned to the Goodwill and we had to do 24 hours of community service there, which was awful. It's a lot of time to spend inside of a Goodwill store. And I vlogged it. <laughs> Courtney only had 16 hours of community service because she didn't, you know, yell at the cop. But she got assigned to like go in some van and chop wood and do manual labor. So she got a way worse assigning than us. And she had to drive all the way to Baltimore, which is where like Towson is near and do it there when she lives like an hour away. Moral of the story, don't get a fake ID. And if you do, don't be stupid. Bull. <laughs> I'm not good at mukbanging. Can you guys believe I was that bold though? I can't either. Mm. I'm like really full. I didn't even eat that much. I can't like talk and eat or I will get so full. Should I finish this? Final consensus. I like the regular nacho fries better than the buffalo fries. I can't believe I told that story on the internet. I look so bad in it. How entitled do you have to be? Argue with the cop when you're the one who's wrong. When you're young, you think you're indestructible and you're never gonna get caught with anything. I definitely learned a lot from that and I got it expunged from my record so you can only see it if you're like a police officer or something, I don't know, or a government official. But it's gone from the public eye until I publicly put it on the internet right now, today. But at least I'm gaining something from this, which is judgment. I'm just glad I can look back now and see how stupid I was. And I also feel terrible for Courtney. She had never gone out before, not once, her very first time using a fake ID, she gets sighted. What are the chances of that? We should have just stayed. Should have stayed. None of that would have ever happened. But maybe everything happens for a reason. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little mukbang. Comment below if you want more mukbang story times like this because I have a lot of more stories that I want to tell you guys. And I have a lot of food I want to eat. So just leave your suggestions below. If you made it all the way to the very end, comment below your go-to talk about order. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.